thank you so much, Anga, and thank you to the EAT Forum for the incredible honor to have five of our launch food innovators here with us today at the inaugural Asia Pacific uh, Food Forum here in Jakarta. Um, part of the launch culture is to bring together unlikely partners. And that network-centered innovation is at the heart of what we do. And so we feel very welcome here. And we wanted to thank you so much for your generosity and leadership, Saba, Ivan, and the EAT Forum leadership. Launch was founded in 2010 by NASA, Nike, USAID, the US Department of State, to identify and accelerate solutions to bring and meet urgent needs in the society. In its first year, in 2016, Launch Food sourced 300 applications from 74 countries around the world with innovations around food and nutrition. And we're trying to do two things. The first thing is to engage a global network to source and scale innovators as catalysts for transformational change throughout the world and to improve nutrition and health outcomes. The second is we're focusing on consumer engagement and the demand side of food and nutrition. Beginning in 2018, four of our innovators will utilize different forms of media and technology to engage with the diversity of consumers beginning in the Pacific, where malnutrition numbers are staggering. Some 40% of people in Tonga have type 2 diabetes. Through a reality TV cooking competition show, through a virtual reality educational program, artificial intelligence, gamification, and data storytelling, we hope to inspire healthy eating and bring back pride in traditional diets. This is a collaboration very much anchored and guided by local ministries of education in the Pacific nations. This is also a collaboration co-designed and funded by the Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trades Innovation Exchange. And I'd very much like to recognize David Kelly, who is here today, to, um, for his incredible leadership, and also Jane Haycock of the Innovation Exchange for this groundbreaking uh, partnership, for your leadership, and for your vision. Thank you, David Kelly. This morning's session is all about turning ideas into scalable solutions, and several of our innovators, including Chef Rob Oliver of the Pacific Island Food Revolution, Alva Lim of the Agora Food Studio in Timor-Leste, Fraser Taylor of Food Switch, and later Joanna Kane Pataka of Smart Food will be sharing their insights and vision for the future of food. We're eager to learn from them. We're also eager to learn from other innovators who are here. And as part of the ethos of this forum, it's incredible that these innovators have already begun networking with one another. They are the faces and voices of innovation. Their stories allow us to witness the promise of disruption to believe in the intimate creative bridges that they are building and designing within consumers with social impact and sustainability at the core of everything they do. It's this convergence of this kind of authentic, strategic, hard work overlapped with the needs of a society and viable business model when social movements for change are born. This morning, it's all about sharing stories with one another and listening. They say that stories recall our past, but the most memorable ones will heavily influence our future. Ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the future of food. Thank you.